In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the fraction of a set. I have three ways of doing it, so let's begin with the first method. Let's say your question asks you, what's 3 out of 4 of 20? Now, of also means to multiply, so it means 3 out of 4 times 20. The first method is actually to draw a model. You have a denominator of 4, which means that you have 4 total parts. Okay, the numerator is 3, so you shade 3 parts. Right, now, the total is also 20, so you label your model. And you want to find these three parts here. Alright. I repeat, you have four total parts. One, two, three, four. You shade three parts and you want to find three parts. And your total of these four parts is 20. It's very important for you to label your model after you have drawn it because Boxes will not tell you any information, whereas if you draw your model and you label, it will actually give you more information. So looking at my model now, it tells me that 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 20. Right, you find 1 unit. One unit would be 20 divided by 4, that gives me 5. Okay, now you want to find 3 units. 1, 2, 3. So go ahead to find 3 units. 3 units would be 5 times 3, that would be 15. Right? So 3 out of 4 of 20 is. 15. Okay, this is method 1 to use a model to help you. Let's take a look at method 2 which is a more straightforward method. What you do is take a look at the denominator 4 and the whole number 20. You are going to divide it by its lowest common multiple which is 4. Now, if you don't know what's the lowest common multiple, it's fine. You just have to make this 1. 4 divided by 4 gives me 1. 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. Alright. 4 divided by 4 gives me 1. 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. You want to make the denominator here 1. Alright, now that we are done, 3 times 5 is 15. And that's your answer. Alright. The third method is to take the numerator and multiply by the whole number. So 3 times 20 is 60. Denominator is 4. Alright, 60 divided by 4. You just have to do your working. Right, so you get answer of 15. Okay, now... Um, so these are the three methods to find fraction of a set. There are pros and cons of every method. This method is might be easier for some of you, but it's quite tedious because you have to draw the model and find so many steps. This method is the most straightforward, but it might be a bit difficult for some of you because you need to be very um, sure of your multiple multiplication times table. 
all right to divide so quickly this step it might be easier but you tend to make more careless mistakes because you need to multiply and divide big numbers all right so as i always mention in my videos there are no foolproof methods there are only methods they are comfortable with so find a method they are comfortable with and practice on that